Good morning again. Welcome back to the e-learning platform of the University of Teramo. We discuss now one important uh, aspect of doing comparative law. We need to discuss and study legal systems in comparison by analyzing both their structures and the way the structures function in real life. So we may compare structures and we may compare functions. Not necessarily corresponding legal structures in two different legal systems perform the same function. Uh, a very banal example could be the contract element. It's a, it's a word and a legal term which is uh, present in every legal system in the world. Uh, but uh, not necessarily the extension of the word is the same. The meaning of the word is not the same. Uh, when we analyze contracts and torts, for instance, we may find that some real life interests are protected by the law of contracts in some legal systems and by the law of torts in, in others. So basically we need to learn to identify corresponding structures in the legal systems we are analyzing and also to identify the functions discharged by those and they do not necessarily correspond. Uh, we will use the word homologous elements to describe structures which, whether similar or entirely different, perform similar functions in uh, two different legal systems. More or less like what we see in the first slide that Gustavo and Sergio from the control room we will now project. There it is, huh? <laughs> what is it? Nice, huh? Uh, this slide shows homologous elements, which we call with common language fins or wings or legs. This Homologous elements have a, a similar function, allowing the owner of the element to move around its environment, his environment. So they have a similar function, but obviously their structure is not the same. We can see from the second slide that we have corresponding structures here. A human hand and wings from bats, birds and dinosaurs. In this case, the structure is the same. In the sense of bones, anatomy, uh, it's clearly the same element having evolved in different uh, ways according to the different needs of the owners of the elements, but basically they are the same structure elements. They have different functions at all. We will see in the third slide uh, that even in the names, in the scientific names of the different individual bones within a bat's wing or with, within a bird. Uh, wing structure, the names of the individual particles or bones correspond to the names of the bones in a human hand. So structurally speaking, we have similar elements, but clearly they discharge a different function. The human hand has a different function than the function of a bird's wing. So similar structure, different functions. In the first slide we have different structures, similar functions. A human leg, a bird or bat uh, wing, fins from turtles or whales or fish, whatever they are. So this is the first important thing I want to convey to you. It's that we need to be able to learn that not necessarily the same structure, even the same names, produce or identify similar functions. We need to learn that. When comparing the laws, we almost immediately find that. So we, need, we don't need to be misled by false friends or 
two easy translations in comparative law. That's all, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.